top now. Basic stuff, okay? You're gonna learn how to chest weight onto the ball without your knees touching the ground. Okay, and this will this will like start simulating kind of like a wrestling type situation. Okay, so you'll start learning how to move on top of the bed here. You know what I'm saying? Both ways, left, right. Okay. Okay. So so um, next basic concept is just learning how to drop your weight onto the ball. So putting my weight here, right? And moving around left, moving around right, circles. The other thing to do is, is work uh, doing your push-up. Yes. Right? Push up. Yes. Sprawl onto it. Circle. Circle. Push up. Yes. Sprawl onto it. You gotta learn how to like put all of your weight into it so that you're not too far forward, right? So that you're not too far left, right? The ball, the cool thing about the ball, it's always gonna make you force you to do everything right. It doesn't get tired and it always tries to sweep you. Your, your training partners get tired on you, right? So you, find, you have to find at first, your stability. Okay, it takes a minute. But like I said, after you get there, then you're moving around. Moving left, moving right, pushing up. Pass, back, pass, good. Sprawl, sprawl, spin right. Sprawl, spin left, you know what I'm saying? Push up, pass, push up, pass. Okay, okay, now the spins. Okay, the next one. This one throws people off, man. This one, like, it looks easy at first, and guys always think they're gonna get it. Everyone who tries it first time falls on their face. But the idea is, is, is putting your weight on it and moving from here. So pick here. Sit up on the top. And then and I continue. And you can go in a full circle around the ball. You see this? Look how I reposition the ball where I need it to be with my elbows here. This is great for your balance on top. Okay, this is a sweep prevention, right? So guys can't sweep you. You have balance with your back exposed. You have balance with the sprawl. So it doesn't matter if you turn sideways, your, your balance is not going to fall. This helps you in so many different situations. You got to balance like this. You balance like this. All the way. Right. Now, some of the more advanced stuff. Two balance points to learn, and then you combine them with a circular motion. The two balance points are here. Learning how to sit on your butt with your hands on the ball, hands on the ball, and feet off the ground. Right here. Okay? And to catch your balance here, work a couple things. Find the spot and work your triangle. Boom. And then untangle. And work your triangle the other side. Right? If you get good at this, you can do it without your hands. On your spot. So now you're working moves along with balancing at the same time. You see this? Left and right triangles. Now a beginner, when you first learn this, you guys are gonna be like, oh, whoa, you're gonna do the triangle. Like, ah! I see it all the time. The ball will always force you to make the corrections. Okay. So, like I said, once you get this balance, this is the one, one of the two balance points. Okay, it's learning how to balance on your butt with your hands on the ball at first. Once you get a little more advanced. Okay, the next point is sitting on your knees. Okay, and notice I'm not straddling it. It's not this. It's not a straddle. Okay, it's this. My knees are a little closer. Okay, so you learn how to balance here. Right, and you'll, you'll move left, you'll move right. Right? The catcher balance. Another thing to work on is, is getting into a knee in the middle position. Boom. With your arm outside practice, practice arm inside as well. Both these stances. So this one, arms here, and this one, arms here. Look at it, sweat me. Lost my balance. Right? Do the same thing on the other side. So get both sides. Here, right? And then do the other side. Right. And do this. These are our two points. Like this, 
and like this, yeah? The trick is to yeah. combine them. Now, I talked about triangles earlier. If you use a triangle, it'll move your legs to the side so I can transition onto my knees. Okay, and now look, I'll do the triangle again back here, watch. Watch my left, my left foot goes to a triangle. See that? So now I can roll over my shin. My right left foot goes around the side. And we get to here. Okay. So look, do a triangle. Look, I'll make my triangle back here. Right there. Okay, and roll myself through. Okay, so I'll do it with a little speed. Okay, so you can see you get a little flow with it. See how it forces me to make adjustments there, you see? I almost got swept. You want to be good at both sides. Do you know how hard it is to hold on to somebody who can move this way? Look how you can move. Okay, so it gives you a lot of movement. Okay, and it's forcing you catch a bounce left, catch a bounce right, catch a ball. All, at all times, you're thinking about eight points. Of so now, you want to learn this now here. Okay, my right leg, I think opposite here. Okay, so I'm going to take this leg and go. And now I can fall to my butt. And then I push. And bounce. And so watch you go. Okay. For that guard pass, you gotta commit. Uh, you throw that leg over, it's gotta throw over, you're gonna fall on them. You gotta be able to like drop your weight on somebody. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, teaches you not to like baby step through that. You just run through that shit. You know? So it's just, it's just one of my favorite little ways to kind of get my leg work going. It's like, boom, boom. It teaches me to sprawl, kind of land on my feet, you know? Look at the opposite side. Boom. Get to a scramble with me, bro. You wanna scramble with me? You're gonna lose. I know how to move, baby. You know? Look at left, look at right, look at left, look at right. Passing guard all day. You'll just jump through dudes' guards. You'll jump right over their guards. But a lot of times I do this until it darks. Jump over their guard. Now the other thing is just a straight sprawl bounce. Okay, it's how to like Go all the way to here, right? With my feet off the ground though. See that? And now, here you go. Right, so it's like, okay, and then you go, kick my feet. See that? Almost like you're gonna do a handstand. You can get way up there, dude. You can be like, okay? And again, I'll use it just, just for balance, getting some, some scramble situations. You see this? Do a hundred of these. Tighten up your core, get your sprawls. You know what I'm saying? Right, look at left, look at right. You know what I'm saying? It's all with the balance. What's cool about that too is you combine it. So I'll do this one, and I'll do this one. It's a great combination of little cardio workout too, you know? You see me sweating. Now, I like to call this one the rodeo. The rodeo is awesome. The rodeo teaches you how to commit to certain guard jumping uh, styles, certain guard jumping techniques. So basically, and I bounce back to my feet. Watch, I go like this. Both the feet go straight up, dude. Okay? I'm gonna bounce. Right under here, right on, right on the small of my butt. Right? So look at my hand, stay on it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You see? So look at this one, this one, this one, this one. Look at one hand, like a rodeo. You know? Combine that with all the stuff we worked on today. Right, so I'll do a quick little, a quick little flow. So watch, I'll combine all the three concepts. This one, my rolls. I call this around the world, by the way, you guys. Around the world, see? Around the world right, around the world left. 
Make sure I'm ambidextrous. Right, I'll throw my bounces in there. Look at it. Fall to the ground. Cool. We're ready for that. to get creative here, you guys. That's very important that the, the readers and the viewers understand that. You don't have to do what I'm showing you. You guys can make your own stuff up. I had uh, I had the honor of Sean G. Ribeiro and Rafael Abate Jr. came by my pad one time and I showed them some of this stuff. And within six minutes, Sean G. had created like two new moves on the ball that I had never done. So I mean, just an example there is, uh, of you know, different people will come up with different styles and different moves, you know, and yeah. it's really fun. You see, I'm already out of breath, I'm sweating, but I didn't realize it was too far, right? So this is about, you gotta have front and back rolls, okay? It's very important. You can do a front roll and a back roll on the ball. It's not a back flip. This is what, what people get afraid of. They're afraid they're gonna try this. Okay, it's not this. Your hands don't go up, your hands go down. Okay, so watch, my hands go down. And my legs go over the side. Okay, straight back to a back roll. I'm gonna get my so it's like the hip bicep down. Do that. Wind up here. And then my hands go down. Okay. Okay. Now you want to be able to do this from sitting on your butt. A back roll. You want to sit on your knees. To be able to do a back roll, right? So I'll do that like this. And this will teach you how to like smush your legs. You guys gotta learn how to smush. You gotta like smash your legs underneath you. Watch. I collapse my legs underneath me. And I come in. Forward rolls. Okay, forward rolls. So it's like this. Yeah. Stay over here in the room. 